Hey Norsemen, I'm Erica Holzer. And I'm John Sadiq. Welcome to this week's Norseman News Flash. California. Have you ever wanted to go to a sports game, but you were too tired from your homework to do anything? Well, you're in luck. Here at Saga Network, we are dedicated to bringing you the very best sporting broadcasting. You can tune into our live streams of every home football game at orangenationtv.com. Lunch lines have proven to be a problem in the first few weeks of school. We have talked to some students and some staff members about their opinions about the situation. What are your thoughts about the lunch line? I don't like the lunch lines because they're too long. Uh, okay. What are your thoughts about the lunch line? I feel like the lunch lines are a bit too long and it's kind of uh, it's kind of obnoxious when you uh, have to wait like the whole lunch um, all like the whole 30 minutes to get your lunch. What is one major problem you notice with students in lunch lines? The major problem I think is is they're not paying attention and they're not prepared. I understand it's their lunch break and you guys want to socialize and be into it all and I get that. But if you just pay attention to what the menu is, have your ID ready or memorize your student ID number because everybody that purchases needs to or gets the lunch, I'm sorry, everybody that gets the lunch needs to type in their number. So if they had all that stuff ready and looked at the menu by the time they got to the window, then it, the lines would be so much faster. Does it ever bother you that when people start cutting between the lunch line? Oh, it is quite annoying, you know? Does it ever bother you that when people start cutting between the lunch lines? It, it kind of does. Like, you, you want to wait in line. You want your food. You want your pizza. You want your calzones. You want whatever you want you're getting. And if there's, like, someone that just walks right in because they have, like, a friend with them, and, like, they, they're in line, they cut right into with them, and then it just it's just obnoxious when you have to buy food and then you realize you have, like, five other people that just cut in line. Yeah. How do you deal with problems such as cutting? Well... That's a big issue here, and what I try to do is I watch the line while I'm working it to see who's cutting in. Then I let the student wait the whole gamut of the line, and then when he gets up to, he or she gets up to us, I say, okay, now you're in high school now, you get to go back and stand in line like everybody else. Thanks, guys. Here's some important information you need to know about some events going on around Valhalla. Now this is a story all about Take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out my Make a picture day for your book photos is on Tuesday, September 13th in room 301. Stop by any time between 7.30 and 3. Do not miss class. Do you want to help prove that Valhalla is the smartest school in the district? Stop by room 214 on Thursday, September 15th to sign up for Academic League. Seniors, if you're interested in attending SDSU next year, a representative will be here in the Career Center on Thursday, September 15th at 9.30 a.m. Sign up in the counseling office for more information. Come support your Norseman athletes this week. Here's the schedule. <laughs> We hope you had fun at Odin's Mars last week. Here's some highlights from the big event. Make sure you tune in next week for another news flash. We hope to see you again.